America needs a tidal wave of the old time religion. I have sinned against you. How dare you! We have no need to doubt God. The heart of Babylon is preparing the nations to receive the Antichrist. I didn't even build that house with money from the church. I built it with money from my book. I don't make this stuff up. Repenting of your sin. It is a moral issue. They got together and swore a pact to the devil. I just enjoy seeing people worship, <sighs> praising God. Hey, everybody, and welcome to... Belief It. Or... Or not. 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 You said or, and for a second I'm like, or. Oh. 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 Welcome to our new show. We <laughs> believe it. Yeah, we believe it. That's it. No or. No not. Nothing. Nope. Nope. You only get the facts, the hard facts, nothing but the facts. Yeah. No and or, no waffling, no flip flopping. We choose a side and we go hard in it. Yeah. Right? It's true. That'd be good if every week we had to pick a side of something. Yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> That's it. You know, I found our old um, test audio for um, when we had that debate show we were talking about, we were thinking about doing. Oh, man. It was bad. I'm sure it was. Yeah. I'm sure it was. What were we debating? Like uh, ice cream and seafood. <laughs> like the idea was to okay. like take a non-important event or a non-important topic and then just like have a, a debate yeah. where we like get mad at each other. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, that could be fine, but... Ice cream and seafood is a bad comparison. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. Well, it wasn't ice. That was just the two episodes. Oh, I see. It was about right, like, right. flavors of ice cream. Right, 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 right. It was about whether or not seafood yeah. is good. That's fair. Yeah. I do remember this now. Yeah. I, it's coming back to me in a very <laughs> vivid yet terrible flashback. We'll release it for Patreon. Oh, only. God. I don't know if we should do that. No, probably not. No, they're paying money. We don't want, <laughs> we don't want to punish them. Oh, sorry. I was just reading. Thanks to Blinkist, I'm able to do that a lot more these days. The most recent book I've been enjoying is Humankind by Rutger Bregman. You see, podcasts like this one and media in general like to talk about violence and like to talk about all the violent things in the world. But actually, deep down, even though it may not seem like it because of the news and everything that's going on in the world, but in reality, there actually is hope, even though it doesn't seem like it. You see, humankind didn't just evolve because of survival of the fittest. It was actually kind of survival of the kindest. There's a lot of evidence to show that the reason we got to where we are is actually because of cooperation and because of being able to work together. It's a very interesting idea and it's a very interesting book and I'm so glad that it was on Blinkist. You see, the Blinkist app allows you to understand the most important things from over 6,500 nonfiction books and podcasts in just 15 minutes. See, with Blinkist, 15 minutes are all that it takes to get powerful insights into different topics and empower your knowledge. If you're commuting, it gives you a quick insight on your way to work. If you're jogging or you can't read right now, you can listen to the book in 15 minutes. With Blinkist, you can discover new perspectives, broaden your horizons, have exciting conversations at parties, and you get to experience those aha moments. And they have this cool new feature called Spaces. This allows you to create spaces with your friends or family where you can add, share, and recommend titles from Blinkist Library all in one place in the app. You can make a space for a group of people, a topic like productivity or mindfulness, and then all members of a shared space can access all the titles in the space with or without a Blinkist premium subscription. That's pretty fantastic. As a premium user, you can create multiple spaces with the same people or with new ones. Wait a minute, what time of year is it? Oh, it's Black Friday, that's right. Enjoy a Black Friday exclusive offer. Get 75% off Blinkist Premium, valid only until November 30th. Start your seven-day free trial by clicking the link in the description box. You guys, you can't miss this. (laughs) Speaking of changing uh, topics... Um, <laughs> that was a really good segue, by the Thank way. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're we are going to do a different topic for this episode, mm-hmm. um, and I think we will still mm-hmm. do it in the first place in, in the future. Sorry. It's just getting slightly postponed for yes. reasons, for lawyer reasons, <laughs> lawyer reasons. <laughs> yeah. So um, we'll see you next time on that topic, but uh you see, folks, Trevor loves controversy. Yeah. <laughs> and if he can piss off a law office somewhere, he's going to do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, yeah, I, I was going to say more, but I don't want to get sued. So That's fair. <laughs> I'll say it. No, I don't. <laughs> you love death. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's why you're wearing that shirt. Darn tootin'. Um, so I was looking through, because, you know, we're coming to an end here and doing it in this format. True. This is the end. This is the end. So I was My like, what, what topics have I always end. wanted to cover that mm. I haven't? Um, and then I noticed that I had an idea for a s- weekly segment that we never did called mm-hmm. sex, like sect, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. plural, mm-hmm. clever and violence. Yep. So I, I was like, that. let's just, and we never did that as an actual thing. So let's just do that as a uh, one episode. Yeah. And if we're doing topics that we've always wanted to do, I would really love to do an episode where we talk about who manufactures the communion wafers. Oh, <laughs> I just want to know more. I just want like a how it's made episode about Yeah. Them. <laughs> Let's do it. Maybe that'll we be start the new with format. the blandest of ingredients. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mixed together, they're pressed into a fine, fine mesh. And Jesus doesn't enter until it's at the church, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that'd be cool if there was like a Jesus guy at the factory. Right. Yeah. Like a guy dressed as Jesus, just like kind of like coughing on him. <laughs> could get the real guy mm. yeah what else is he doing right now mm-hmm. um so yeah so let's talk about some of the most violent cults oh, yeah let's do it uh there are more violent cults yeah but i figured i would skip the ones that a um we've done before mm-hmm. and two <laughs> a and two um that uh, are just i was wasn't justice in the right word but are only mass suicides <laughs> like that's sad and that's violent but like i wanted yeah, to yeah, be yeah. the ones that were like yeah yeah, yeah. we're the ones boom boom booming suicide yeah. is i guess it's a little more self-inflicted you could yeah. say but i mean it's still which is its own topic people kind of. taking advantage of other people yeah. and forcing them to do these things versus yeah 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 yeah, yeah. uh yeah this is also going to be one where i butcher words yeah so like every other episode Uh, like every other episode like every other episode yeah i don't have good reading (laughs) comprehension me fail english but that's impossible i saw that clip again recently and i forgot about the part where the reason he's on stage ralph is on stage is because um skinner's just reading the people who are on academic probation and he thinks it's an award (laughs) yeah <laughs> so then he goes up on stage to take us away. Which, just in general, what a bizarre concept to yeah. just have a, an assembly where you bring students up who are on academic probation. <laughs> yeah. Is that the is that the hockey one? No, sure. no, no, no. Because Lisa, because Lisa's failing gym, right? And she has to get into something, right? I don't remember I what don't she remember. does now. I think the hockey one's a different one. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you know. You know. Uh, the first cult is Om Shinrikyo. Om Shinrikyo. It was founded in the 80s by Shoko Asahara. Okay. You want to try pronouncing any of these words better than me? Om Shinrikyo. Shoko Asahara. That Yeah, Asahara. That makes sense. Shoko Asahara. Yeah, he got a lot of followers. At mm-hmm. one point, he cl- claimed to be Jesus Christ, uh, probably to get a job at a wafer factory, would be my guess. Makes sense. Um, and yeah, lots of followers. Where? Wait, where was this in Japan? Yeah, in Japan. Okay, this was in Japan. Yeah. I figured. I didn't want to assume, though. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you know what they say about assuming? It makes an asset of you and Ming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I never got that. Because when you assume, why does it make me an ass? Yeah, that's true. It just makes you an ass. Yeah. It's just because it's the letters. That's why. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. just letters. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, then it doesn't make you an ass. That was my favorite one was always, uh, there's no I in team, but there is URA in failure. <laughs> uh, so it attracted a lot of young um, university students and... Mm-hmm. Um, 
they believed that the end times was coming, the apocalypse yeah. was near. They probably saw those billboards on the sides of highways and cornfields. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know about it. Yeah. And this is something uh, that will be a recurring theme, is that people who think the end mm-hmm. is near, so they have to do something extreme to help it bring it along. I mean, you'd think that people would figure out by now that it's not, because no. people have been saying the end is near for thousands of years yeah. now. <laughs> and it's funny, too, because now, it's not funny, it's horrifying, but now, yeah. Um, so we've been telling people for years, hey, the world, somebody's been saying for years the world mm-hmm. is coming to an end. And now that there's, like, actual, like, climate problems and stuff like that, and people are like, uh, there's some problems here. Yeah. People are like, yes, we've been hearing forever. That It's like the boy who cried wolf thing, but the <laughs> world is ending. Um but in 1995, on March 20th, 1995, members of the cult left five bags filled with toxic nerve agent on three Tokyo trains, uh, train lines during rush hour. Oh, okay. I remember this. Yeah. 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 Passengers began choking and throwing up. 13 people died because of the attack and mm-hmm. 5,800 were injured. As months went by, the cult tried and failed to attack other subway stations with deadly cyanide. Was this the uh, sarin nerve gas? That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just about to ask it, then I saw it right there. I'm like, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, so he was uh, he was sentenced to death along with 12 other members. And uh, they were ex- seven members were executed in July of 2018, including Asaria Asahara. Asahara. Asahara and six members uh, are still on death row. Okay, so Records. this is always something that I'm I'm always confused by these kind of death cults. Because we talked about not ones who are just like offing themselves, but who are offing other people. Yeah. I understand to, I don't understand, but I, I, I can kind of follow the logic of why they would get rid of themselves yeah. to like send themselves to, Oh, well this is when it's happening and we have to do this to be raptured or whatever. Yeah. But why, what's the justification for them killing other people? I don't, I don't get why that's part of the process. Yeah. And, and you know what I mean? Well, I mean, I don't get why they're doing cult stuff to begin yeah, with, true. but you know, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, like there's an internal logic to why they do these things, but yeah. I, I never really got what the logic was about, murdering other people yeah it's it's i don't know because it's like with christian Mm -hmm. um with christian zionists a lot of them are so excited right now because of what's going on in the middle east yeah um and that's causing a lot of death and they had a lot to do with Mm -hmm. getting it to that place but this is like literally you're the one doing the killing yeah um i don't know like i thought i thought one of their precious commandments was thou shalt not kill yeah but uh they find a way around it they always find a mm. loophole for for those 10 commandments I, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> there's always a loophole i guess yeah yeah it's just something that always kind of confuses me about these kind of cults i i understand that it's based on more than <laughs> more than whatever else yeah but the fact that they're able to get to a point where they're justifying mass murder is pretty nuts Obviously. Obviously, that's pretty... <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see what Google says. Why do cults kill? Why do cats kill bunnies? No, that's not what I <laughs> I mean, it's probably depending on the cult, too. Do you yeah. think, you're like... I'm sure there's ones who are they're saying, like, we're trying to get as many people to be raptured or something? Yeah, I think so. It's, like, triggering. They might have read something in the Bible or some book or saw mm-hmm. s- some vision where you, these people have to die in order for the rapture to happen. What I also find really funny, though, is that it's always about something like, okay, so we're going to eternal paradise and the rapture is supposed to happen, but if you miss it for some reason, yeah. somehow, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's only going to happen once, one time, and if you're not there, you're square kind of thing. Yeah. Where it's just like, Shouldn't this just be something that, you know, after it happens, it just kind of retroactively keeps happening or or something? You know what I mean? Yeah. The next one, Mm -hmm. um, you may have heard of this one, the Manson family. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Late 60s, Charles Manson brought together a group of displaced young people. I was just listening to uh, an episode of Alan Cross where he was talking about Nine Inch Nails stuff. And I guess at one point... Uh, Trent Reznor had rented a building to record 
it might have been it was either downward spiral or the fragile i can't remember which one yeah and it turns out it was the the home that the beverly hills home where the people were murdered oh wow and he didn't know until after he'd already rented it and yeah he, he didn't really like it but he still recorded it. <laughs> but, wow yeah i actually didn't realize that it was about trying to start a race war is that what it was yeah charles manson okay. thought that he they should start a race war wow which i'm against yeah yeah i mean man manson he was a wild guy um have you you've probably seen some of his interviews and heard some yeah. of the stuff he says yeah, yeah. it's and like th- there's also been a lot of claims that like he just would make stuff up for his reasoning and stuff just to like get on media like oh say, yeah uh, he definitely felt yeah. like he yeah. was someone who was like that yeah but you can also see like I mean, as crazy as he was, there was there was like a magnetism and a charisma yeah. to someone like that, which is unfortunately kind of the root of a lot of this yeah. stuff, right? It's it's a lot of mental illness and and just oozing strange charisma, yeah. pulling people to do crazy shit, yeah. and a lot of really selfish, fucked up people too. Yeah, but. and the sixties were. I mean, everybody was disenfranchised mm-hmm. everybody was trying to figure out what yeah. to do with their lives and what how to find meaning mm-hmm. spiritualism was huge yep. like people were just find, trying to find like the meaning to the universe in other ways trying to break away from like christianity and find yeah. their own religion their own meaning and you can definitely see how the manson kind of murders is sort of a distillation of a lot of the issues that were happening at the time, right? And like an extremist representation of the problems that were going on. Yeah, yeah. And again, it being about talking about an imminent race war also makes sense with, you know, so much of the stuff going on at the time. Yeah. With that as well, so. Yeah. Um, Have you heard of the Matamoros cult? Matamoros? Yeah, Matamoros, yeah. No. Okay, so this was, they were drug dealers. Okay. And in Mexico. Mm-hmm. And they said, hey, you know what will help us uh, stay safe is sacrificing American tourists. Cool. <laughs> and other people. So they it, ritual human sacrifice. Um, Jeez. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, sorry, I bumped the thing. Oh, no, no. Um, yeah. Uh, when the suspects were asked why they murdered an American victim, uh, they named uh, Adolfo. Costanzo, Adolfo de Jesus Costanzo, or de Jesus Costanzo, uh, the leader of the cult, and Sarah Eldritt, um, a student at Southmost College, as known as the witch. And uh, they would sacrifice as protection. The thing that's that you're omitting here that I think is, is wild is this Adolfo, it's 26. Yeah. 26. 26 years old. And and I've seen photos of the sacrifice. Oh, jeez. And it's okay. horrifying. Yeah. yeah. What do you expect? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they would like do things like cut their brain open while or like cut their head open while they're still alive. Oh, they do like vivisection and things yeah. like that. Yeah. It's and like, uh, that's what the try Nazis to get used to do. as much fear in the person as possible yep. as they're killing them mm-hmm. um, to like please their, their gods. Yeah, it's basically they saw Chucky and were like, yeah, let's do all the ritual stuff from Chucky. They also killed a lot of people, but a lot of cats, dogs, chickens, snakes, goats, zebras, and a lion cub. When when was this? This was... Reported in 1990? 1990. Okay, so yeah. like 89, 90 kind of thing? Yeah. Dang. And... Uh, in 2022, in 2022, um, they issued a warning to other Americans thinking of visiting the area, a hotspot for human trafficking and drug, cart- drug cartel activities. So, I mean, the fear is still there for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely things that I've heard about, like the cartel beheading people and killing tourists and yeah. stuff. And this guy was just on another level. Like mm-hmm. he was just like, yeah, he. I think he really believed in in right. this stuff. And was well, like, I mean, there's there's a difference between like the cartel killing people for whatever reason and doing yeah. stuff like that. That feels more like they're doing it to send a message and mm-hmm. to stop people from whatever. This is more, uh, I guess, sinister. Yeah, Sin- yeah. Which, well, but there's hope there, you know. It it gives them hope. So who yeah. are you to judge? I mean, it is funny that we're making a distinction about the reason why people are being murdered yeah, even though true. they're both being yeah, murdered both, right yeah, exactly. so like yeah. the justification has no real yeah. 
basis in it when the outcome is essentially the same. Yeah. Yeah. And um, whereas, like, the cartels, Mm -hmm. maybe they'll kidnap somebody for a ransom or for monetary reasons, and it ends in death. But these guys were going out and kidnapping people Mm -hmm. specifically to kill them for ritual and painful circumstances. Yeah. But again, you're still... Yeah kidnapping and killing people so it's just like does it really matter what you're doing it for the fact that you're doing it is the problem and damien i i know we're not a hard hitting journalism um show but i have a quick question for you (laughs) and are you saying right now (laughs) yeah are you saying you're against the cartel Mm. Mm. i mm. you've been silent on it a long time Uh, i'm saying you know what i don't know if i i should say anything to be honest (laughs) to be honest (laughs) I'd like to go to Mexico one day, <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I don't need I don't need uh, any 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 record of me saying anything about it. True, yeah, I'm gonna stay silent on it. All too. I'm gonna say is like I don't think murder is good. Yeah, That's murder it. is bad. Murder is bad. That's the stance I don't of this agree podcast. with it. Yeah. Um. Have you seen the Netflix documentary Wild Wild Country? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. So I you'll know more about one. this than I do. I haven't seen it, but But I watched it like a while ago, so it's all very hazy to me. Okay. Honestly, you know the weirdest thing about it? I remember I watched it and all I really remember is just the the image from the Netflix cuz I saw it so many fucking times. Yeah. And like 30 second trailer that would autoplay with it. I remember that more than most mm. of what happened in that okay. documentary. So basically, so the uh, Rajneesh Piram, uh, he was the mystic. Um, he was Bhagwan an Indian mystic. Uh, Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh. Mm-hmm. Um, he had followers by the thousands in the 70s. And basically, they took over this town mm-hmm. and uh, they wanted to create their own kind of cult community, cult city. As they expanded, the locals were like, I don't like this. So they. Poisoned the salad bar. Um, they, uh, yeah, they, they poisoned with um, salmonella. Mm-hmm. Seven hundred people. Um, luckily, nobody died uh, from it, but they poisoned and hurt a lot of people. Uh, it's, it's trying a, to influence elections. It's a pretty wild story too, because it's it's very clearly just a guy who basically just wants to have like a sex cult for himself yeah. kind of thing, right? Yeah. And like the people who helped him do it are very clearly just, you know, were influenced by that. And yeah. Uh, I don't know. If you haven't seen it, I, I think it was, I, I think I remember it being worth watching. But yeah. again, I don't remember a whole lot of it. So <laughs> maybe it's not. I think there's a lot to be said about a sex cult. Um, yeah. Like if I were to join a cult... I, I get the appeal to a sex cult. For sure. I mean, if you go in knowing that's what it is and that's what you want, sure. Yeah. But I don't know if this was necessarily branded as such, yeah. you know? But the only problem with the sex cult, and I'll say this up front, mm-hmm. is it really blurs the line of consent mm. when you're required to bang. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, that's true. <laughs> I, w- I mean, I wasn't implying that a sex cult had to be something where you're required to that's bang. That's true, though. yeah. So I... When I was saying, like, if you're joining a sex cult, you know you're getting into it. I'm not saying that it has to be one where you have yeah, to fuck yeah, people. Yeah, it's true. No, I'm, I just wanted to clear. But the option yeah. to fuck is there. Yeah, yeah. You want to go to an optional sex cult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we start a sex cult? Yeah, why not? Yeah. The belief it or fucks. Yeah. No murder. Or no attempted murder. <laughs> no, no. If you're gonna do it, don't attempt it. Yeah. You have to do it. You have to do it. Yeah, we need follow through in our cult. <laughs> yeah. The Order of the Solar Temple, founded in 1984 by Joshua. Sorry, I can't even say Joseph. <laughs> by Joseph De Mambro, De Mambro, De Mambro, De Mambro, and Luc Jorette. New Age spiritualism, S- Switzerland, France, and O Canada. Oh. We had our own solar temple uh, branch here. Yeah. So they believe that the world was going to end in the mid-90s. Which who doesn't? I mean, for some of us, it did. Yeah. They. Oh, yeah. So they traced the roots back to they wanted to be like the King's Templar. Or, sorry, the Knight's Templar. I can't read today. (laughs) I like how it's like normal words that you're messing up today. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's because I was so focused on like the hard to read words that like, right, right, right. I can't say knight or Joseph. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but as they noticed that the world wasn't coming to an end, um, they started killing their members. At first, it was thought to be another mass suicide, but a lot of them were murdered. So uh, in Switzerland, um, their temple, the solar two t- solar temples went up in flames, and they found 48 bodies inside. Holy and then shit. in 1997, okay. um, 74 members died in Quebec. Wow, that's our that's our country where we live. Yeah. Oh wait, no, five members died in Quebec, and in all, seventy four cult members and former cult members. Oh, died. okay. Sorry. Oh fuck. Thanks I keep for reading. reading the desk and shaking the camera. Sorry. It's okay. Everybody, can we all take a moment to forgive Damien? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the movement for the restoration of the Ten Commandments of God. <laughs> what a stupid name. <laughs> can you imagine, like, oh, what's your cult called? The movement for the restoration of the Ten Commandments of God? <laughs> okay. And it's not a cult. We simply believe that. Couldn't you just be the Ten Commandments cult? Yeah. <laughs> I love um, that scene in A Mighty Wind when he's talking about his cult, about how we're all just a refraction of light. And it's like, it's just, it's it's not that hard to think of it. It's something you would think of if you're just walking down the street. <laughs> it's a basic <laughs> belief. <laughs> But these guys, their basic belief was that on December 31st, 1999, the mm-hmm. world was going to end, which a lot of us thought at yeah. the time. Yeah, because... We had Y2K coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the only way to stop this from happening was um, uh, obeying the Ten, the Ten Commandments. Commandments. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Just obeying the... T- I think this actually... I realize this one is a suicide cult, but still, a lot of people died. Why would you need to suicide over the Ten Commandments, though? Well, because it didn't happen, right? So, like, they didn't stop it. 1999 comes around. Mm-hmm. 2000 comes around. And they're still there. And then they r- change the date. They're like, oh, no, no, no. We got this. It's in March of 2000. We did the math wrong. We forgot to carry the one. Uh, and then it doesn't happen. So then a bunch of people So, like, what are we going to do? Die. Well, I guess we should... We should all die. die. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so how many people died? I know it was a big number. What surprises me, too, is that I don't remember this happening, and a lot of fucking people died. Wait, 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 wait. Sex and soap were also forbidden? Oh. <laughs> I mean, sex kind of makes sense, I guess. <laughs> I'm glad that it's both are forbidden. Though. Yeah. If it was just one of them, I'd be worried. I saw a thing about like somebody being like, well, you don't see animals using soap, so why should humans use soap? If, as yeah. if like... Have uh, you ever met an animal? Yeah, they fucking exactly. stink. <laughs> and and like, they lick their own ass. A lot of apes, when they do find soap, they do start using it and do start adding it into their routine. Um, I'll put video on the YouTube version. but um, I've seen a monkey smoke. Yeah, I've seen a monkey washing a cat. True. Um, but like human evolution and invention go hand in hand. Like we yeah. evolved more because we invented stuff along the way to help us survive to evolve. Yeah, yeah. it's just like you smarter. don't see animals cooking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, we also live past the age of uh, 20 now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, the family... Um, in Australia from 1963 to 1987. Um, Anne Hamilton Byrne went as far as to bleach children's hair to lead them to believe she was their biological mother. Wow. Uh, she referred to herself as the reincarnation of Jesus Christ and I believe, no, somebody else. Somebody else I was going to talk about said she was Jesus Christ and Marilyn Monroe. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like pick one. Just pick. Yeah, you don't exactly. need both. Yeah. Um, what would was, you choose if you had to choose Marilyn Monroe or Jesus? Who would you rather be? Oh man, that's a really tough question. Just Jesus? Is it the historical Jesus, or is it Jesus with the magic powers? Mm. 
Well, I think if you believed the reincarnation right. stuff, yeah. you would so have I, to I would believe the, the magic power. powers. You choose magic powers, Jesus. Unless Marilyn Monroe was a secret magician, like she actually had magic powers, but she didn't like show. True. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go with Marilyn Monroe because mm. of the dress thing with the yeah event. yeah. Uh, this cult, though, was originally called the Great White Brotherhood. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She adopted 28 children um, by receiving the kids as gifts from members, as well as fossil wine papers to convince others to give their children up for adoption. She planned to create a master race that would survive the apocalypse and rule the world. What? Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, local officials investigating the property in 1983 in an attempt to find the missing girl when asked if any children were on the property she denied basically yeah she would tell them to hide if there was ever a visitor she would tell them to just get hide or they would be uh, found and tortured and killed so they would hide really well every time there was an investigation wait wait that, I'm sorry I'm, I'm no, skimming some of your stuff can you go back up yeah, a little because yeah, 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 that was yeah. a big thing uh, the Kids were beaten, starved, given LSD, forced to do yoga, and locked in their rooms to work on themselves. Yeah. Okay, wow. Cool. I don't think I'd want to be a kid in this cult. No. Yeah. The, yeah, the psychological problems that children faced as a result of their abuse environment led to some uh, getting kicked out and others escaping as they grew older. Yeah, I would want to escape too. Um, yeah, they had shackles and, uh, are they saying literal shackles or are they just saying like the shackles of, oh yeah, no, you're right. I didn't get a lot of sleep (laughs) folks free from the family's shackles. I was, I'm I'm just here to proofread Trevor's thoughts. (laughs) That's why, that's why I brought you on. Uh, Hamilton burned uh, fled to New York and was extradited. Uh, she was charged with falsifying three birth certificates. She continued to deny and lied, but her wrongdoings. Um, yeah. Uh, death toll unknown. But yeah, I think they did find some bodies and stuff. But uh, either way, with all that violence, I don't, yeah, I'm like just torturing kids and creating a. Yeah, that being an all around piece of shit. Yeah. Um, would you like it if there weren't death cults uh i don't know i think it's i think it's nice to have them yeah as an option as an option yeah. you know i don't you know i i think everyone should be free to choose yeah so and yeah and like i said if it brings them hope yeah what's the problem exactly who are they hurting <laughs> yeah well, except Besides all the, the people, people that they're, they're yeah. hurting exactly um Maybe I don't like them. Actually. Yeah, I think I'm actually. You know what? I think I think I've kind of come around yeah. on that. I was on the fence, but not anymore. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything about uh, the cartel, but mm-hmm. no cults. No, 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 no. Not going to say anything about that. I still maintain I don't. I don't like murder. Yeah, murder. Don't, don't like it. Is bad. Speaking, not a fan. Speaking of people who don't murder, mm-hmm. should we thank our patrons? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Wow! Thank you so much! Oh, wow. thank, thank you! you. Oh, thank you! Thank you. you so much! Hey, everybody! Welcome to our Bible study. Thank you so much for coming um, today. We are going to study our favorite book yet again for the thousandth time. Thousand, I would say thousandth. And of course, we're talking about. Chamber of Secrets. Sorry, the the Holy Spirit was entering into me. Amen. Amen. Oh, <laughs> it's a sharp spirit today. Jagger. <laughs> that's what we call Jesus. That's yeah, his, Jesus that's his street name. Jagger. Jagger. <laughs> but we have some people to lift mm, up to you, O oh Lord. Raise them up, Lord. Um, Please. First, first of all, we have Patrick. Mm-hmm. Um, we lift them all the way up mm-hmm. to the sky for our, our to Lord. the ceiling. Can't can't hold us no more. Can't hold me down. Can't no. Can't bring hold, me down. Bring me up, Proust. Amen. I mean, amen. Mm. Mm-hmm. And we have a very special prayer request today for our good friend DJ Cupid. Mm-hmm. Now DJ Cupid has been playing Matchmaker for months here at mm-hmm. the church, and it's been going great. It's been going wonderful. The problem is they've been trying to make too many meet cutes happen. 
And listen, not everybody can have a meet cute. Yeah. It's just it's just not how it works. If everybody has one, then they're no longer cute. They're just meats. It's true. And uh, we can't just have everyone getting meat. Yeah. Everybody could have meat cubes, mm-hmm. but not meat That's cubes. right. Yeah. So we'd like to thank our church's sponsor. <laughs> meat uh, cubes. Douglas's Butchery <laughs> for uh, providing the delicious cubes hey, man. of farm-raised Alberta beef. Alberta beef. Approved by the Lord himself. Amen. Amen. And uh, speaking of the Lord, Mm -hmm. should we do some Christian rock lyrics? You know what? I've been waiting for you to ask me that all day. Mm. Can't you see you're not making Christianity better? You're just making rock and roll worse. So this one Mm. uh, is from a cult. Oh, they have their own uh, music now too, eh? Yeah. Uh, The Way International. Is this is the cult? Where question. were they going, and how will they know the way? Da, 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 da. You know that one? No. I think it's called the way. Oh. I don't know bon who Jovi? it's by. Yeah, it's Bon Jovi. Mm. Have you heard the song that goes, "The renew mind is the key to the power we need"? <laughs> no. It, oh, oh! You gotta but watch the video. To. Everybody, watch this video. They're singing at the church, and their choreography is insane. Whoa! Like good or like bad? Good. Oh, they're on uh, fire for the Lord. And Listen, if you have a cult and you're not having impeccable choreography, you're doing something yeah, wrong. Yeah. What's if wrong? If there's with you? ever a time to force people into 14 hour rehearsals to make sure that the choreography is perfect, yeah, exactly. It's when you have a cult, and. Uh, so this song goes like this the renewed mind is the key to the power that we need the mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the world is going to see that the, that it's christ in me the renewed mind is the key to the power that we need is the only way to be strong in victory god is closest with the righteousness and his power and we live for him and i will get time and hour we can stand upon the greatness of his word and proclaim the truth we we gonna make it heard we got all the potential power. We got to do everything. Now we can stand upon our legal right and we only make it l- lived. The renewed mind is the key to the power that we need. The world is going to see that it's Christ in me. The renewed mind is the key. Okay. I've got the power. Bah, bah. Do, 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 I've got do, the power. Of God. Of God. Yeah. Well, I mean, the more I, I say this all the time, the more we hear Christian lyrics, the more we hear them, it's the same thing over and over yeah. again. It it feels like the same lyrics half the time. Oh, it does. Yeah. Like, I feel like there's no real difference. No, not at all. It's like yeah. listening to a Mumford and Son album. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, folks, we love you, and we love Mumford and Son. Yeah, I didn't mean <laughs> to disparage them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're kind of Christian rock. You think so? I don't know. I have no idea. Neither do I. All right. Bye. Bye. Work, 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 Sky Moon. <laughs> this podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network.